Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Oak Grove, also known as the Battle of French's Field or the Battle of King's Schoolhouse, located in Henrico County, Virginia, on June 25, 1862. Confederate Commander Robert E. Lee sent Brigadier General Jeb Stuart with his 1,200 men to scout out the Union's 115,000-man army. As General Stuart roved outwards, he came across the Union's right flank, and on that right flank was the Union supply line. There, Stuart noted the supply line was unprotected. He continued to the James River, circled the Union forces, gaining as much detail as he could, and returned to Richmond to report back to General Lee. On the 25th of June, Jackson and his men met with the Union troops for a battle south of the Chickahominy River, which opened up what would be called the Seven Days Battles. The Union goal was to gain advantage of the higher ground around the Nine Mile Road at the Old Tavern. This would allow the Union siege guns to fire on Richmond's defenses. The Union Third Corps advanced north and south along the Williamsburg Road. Three Union brigades, commanded by Brigadier Generals Daniel E. Sickles, Cuvier Grover, and John C. Robinson made their way towards the Confederate lines. Robinson and Grover did well, but Sickles' New York infantry encountered difficulties moving through the upper portions of the swamp where they had met Confederate resistance. The Confederate command took advantage and had Confederate Brigadier General Ambrose R. Wright attack Grover's brigade specifically. There was some confusion on the Union side as Wright's men approached. One of General Wright's Georgian regiments wore red Zouave uniforms, which many in the Union believed only belong on Union troops. This allowed the Georgia regiment to approach very closely before engagement. The resulting Confederate fire broke Sickles' brigade and threw it into a retreat. Union command heard of the retreat and ordered reinforcements to be sent to help Sickles to restore order. They also notified Union Army Commander McClellan of the situation, as McClellan was attempting to command a battle via telegraph from four miles away. McClellan was clueless about most of the battle details and heard about the retreat of Sickles' men. In response, he ordered the rest of the men to withdraw back to the entrenchments, much to the confusion of the Union soldiers fighting. He then indicated he'd be arriving at the front shortly. In anticipation of his arrival, the Union reinforcement and counterattack stalled for more than three hours. At 1 p.m. when McClellan arrived, he noted the situation wasn't as bad as he first believed, and he ordered his men back out of the entrenchments and forward with the attack. The fighting continued until nightfall. Because of McClellan's hesitation, the Union troops only gained 600 yards of ground by the end of the day. The total cost of the Union troops were 626 men, including 68 killed, 503 wounded, and 55 missing. While the Confederate losses were at 441 total, with 66 killed, 362 wounded, and 13 missing. Please join us next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.